Hi everyone, my name is Matt Winnick, and I originally was an undecided voter, or a concerned voter as myself. The reason why I was an undecided voter or a concerned voter was because both political parties had failed to address and support people with disability rights, including people with autism spectrum. However, I decided to change from an undecided voter to vote for the Harris and Walls presidential ticket. I will explain to you the reasons why and to share you with my experience of myself with having a disability, which is autism with a learning disability and a cognitive disability. I myself have autism with a learning disability, including a cognitive disability, ever since I was born through currently. Having this disability has been a challenge for me because I struggle to learn different advanced subjects at a certain pace. Also, I struggle to figure out how to communicate my thoughts in different social settings, and I get teased. When it comes to in a workplace or when I volunteer, I struggle to learn how to do a task efficiently and to work in a fast paced environment. When I struggle with these things in a workplace or in a volunteering, sometimes I deal with other people getting flustered at me and I easily get put down when I struggle with these things even despite me trying my best to be a good worker, try to pay attention to details, and try my best to learn how to improve myself at a task. I have worked for about 10 years in a working place where I struggle with these things. And it can be very difficult when a lot of people don't want to talk about helping people with disabilities in a workplace or in a volunteering setting. Also, another thing too with my disability is I face some forms of discrimination based on my disability in education, in public places, or in other social settings. And it makes me sad when both political parties, including our Democratic Party, along with Republican Party, and also many of our educational leaders, and also our judicial judges in our court system that fail to support people with disability rights or when they don't want to address diversity, equity, inclusion to include people with disabilities into the conversation. I will explain why I will be supporting the Harris and Walsh ticket. I've always appreciated Vice President Kamala Harris for her support and advocacy for people with disability rights, including people with autism spectrum. When she served in the U.S. Senate from California, I was really admired and appreciative of how she stood up against many of former President Trump's judicial nominees that presented anti-people with disability stigma or they had no knowledge of what the civil rights or the Disability Act, or what our fundamental civil liberties were. This really showed what we need. We need somebody who is willing to have the courage to stand up against anybody that presents bigot views or anti-disability views that are in our government. I'm very, very admired and appreciative of how Vice President Kamala Harris had picked Governor Tim Waltz to be her running mate. I myself have done a lot of research into Governor Tim Waltz, and I'm very inspired by his story about wanting to help people and how it's important to be compassionate for people who have struggles in life. And when he served in Congress and as current governor of Minnesota, I really appreciated and admire that he went the extra mile to work with Republicans, Democrats, and independents in going to rural, urban, small, and big cities 
to try to get people to support people with disability rights, including people with autism spectrum, and also to provide stimulus checks to help people who struggle with a disability in a workplace or when they can't work or when they struggle with medical needs. Also, I'm really inspired by Governor Walz for his continuous stories about wanting to help people as a former teacher, as a former coach, because it really teaches me about the importance of being compassionate and wanting to help people who face struggles. His story has inspired me to continue to help feed homeless people, including people who are low income in my small downtown in Auburn, Michigan, where I work with a small community group where we provide homeless people, including people who are low income, with essential items, including food and groceries of canned foods. I do this as a way to remind myself that this is what Governor Waltz would want everybody else to do, to help somebody when they are in need and to provide people with the help when they face struggles in life, whether it's through poverty, through mental health, or other factors there are. I understand that politics is very difficult. It can be hard to navigate, and that many people are tired of the news media, are tired of both political parties where they don't want to support common sense ideas, or including people with disability rights. But I want to say that I will be voting for the Harris and Walls presidential ticket. I might not agree with everything that they do, but I definitely do agree with Vice President Harris and Governor Walls on their continuous support for people with disability rights and addressing the need to help people with disabilities, including people with autism spectrum too, like myself, get the help that we need. And I just want to say to many undecided voters and people who have disabilities or families with disabilities is to please take the time to research into the Harris and Waltz presidential ticket and please vote for the ticket because we don't want to go back to the days where there are a lot of forms of discrimination against people with disabilities. We don't want to go back to where people can promote hatred views against people with disabilities. And we cannot go back to where people with disabilities are disadvantaged in society. We need to move forward where we can give people with disabilities a chance to learn, a chance to have accommodations to help them grow in their job or volunteering or to move forward into society. I hope that this short message can help inspire many of you to understand why I plan on voting for the Harris and Walls ticket and to understand that my experience with my disability can help many of you be inspired to do the same thing, to vote for this general election. Um, I approve this message and my name is Matt Winnick. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I have autism with a learning disability, including cognitive disability. And also, I want to send my good thoughts to Governor Walsh's family and to thank them for inspiring Governor Walsh to continue his support for people with disability rights. And I want to deeply thank Vice President Kamala Harris, including her husband, for their continuous support for people with disability rights, including people with autism spectrum. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me.